Hey guys, Silence Yell here. Welcome back to another Utah Macross tutorial event. We're gonna finally talk about the third event of the month, which is known as the high score event. Um, this was actually the last event of the month, but we Dana implemented the Red Boss event five months ago, so this event now became the third event of the month and it is probably one of the most relaxing events um, thanks to the Red Boss event being the most grindy and most hardcore event that is throughout the whole month and yes it even beat the ticketing event in terms of stressfulness when it comes to ranking and all that kind of stuff because the rewards are now at high stakes so anyway guys the let's talk about the current event which is the high score event and what you need to know about this event so let's go straight into the mission menu we're going to talk about the mission um, within this event itself, they are pretty more generic like most of the events so we're going to talk about what you need to actually achieve um, to clear all these event missions uh, itself so as you can see there's a whole bunch of daily missions which is basically the same thing like play um, three songs from the live uh, event site and of course maybe like play a single song from the event and beat an EX uh, live opponent, that kind of stuff. So if you're wondering what are all these terms, I will explain to you guys later on. But let's talk about the main events that are generally there and waiting for you to clear as long as you do it within the event time period itself. All right, so as you can see, the title of the song is bracketed there. So you just have to play the event song. The current event song for this event is Ninjin Ye Loves You Yeah. Uh, as you can tell from the time I'm recording, um, this is the event with Ranka's brand new swimsuit costume. Um, I probably have been delaying this tutorial video for way too long. It has been over two years. <laughs> I should have made this long ago. Um, but to be truth, uh, to be truthful, the the high score event wasn't really uh, implemented at the beginning of Uta Macross uh, launch. In fact, it was only implemented maybe about half a year into Uta Macross game uh, launch. And of course, they decided to change the last event of the month to something a bit more uh, unique and challenging towards the players itself. So yeah, alright, so you just have to clear, you know, the quantity that they indicated there in the, in the numbers. Um, how many times you have to play that particular event songs. Usually all the event songs require you to clear. Um, 5 clears, then 10 clears as you can see here from this first 2 uh, event missions. Then of course, followed by that, you just have to get, um, you know, uh, S-Life. So, um, you just have to play, honestly, just keep playing the event songs uh, at the highest difficulty you can. You, you generally clear all these missions. Um, your, uh, automatically then of course followed by you know the event song wow kure ga tomaranai whichever song title they have implemented there in the brackets there you can see that seven moon is one of them as well um then of course you know the five time clear five time clear then of course here comes the scoring missions which basically requires you to play the main event song and attain a certain amount of high score so as you can see down here has the 500,000. Uh, high score requirements 600,000, 700,000, follow so on so forth. Of course, the highest being 120,000. Surprisingly, it's just 120,000 because some of the other events they have requested um, 140,000, uh, 1 million, sorry, 1,400,000 1, 1, um, high score. So, um, yeah, um, and of course, then comes with the full combo. So, you have to um, play. You, get, you have to get a, a full combo on easy, normal, hard, and very hard, and of course, extreme being the hardest. Now, for these uh, missions that require the full combo, the um, difficulty, you just have to play the highest difficulty that you can. Maybe if you can, if you can clear extreme just like me, play extreme straight away. If you can full combo the extreme, all the other difficulties below that will automatically clear alongside it. So that's pretty much the same goes for any other, other any other event out there. Uh, most of the time, this is how Dana, um, you know, 
categorizes their missions um, when it comes to full comboing songs with particular difficulties. All right, so that of course you have to beat your rivals um, 10 times, 15 times, 20 times, 25 times, 30 times, and that's pretty much it. And we are done with all the missions that you can probably um, complete within the event. Of course, they will lock in all the daily missions that you've cleared as well. So if you happen to miss any of the days because you got lazy to play or maybe you fell sick or you probably had some kind of uh, you know, tasks you need require more attention to than rather playing Utah Cross. Um, yeah, you can tell yourself how many days you have actually played by looking at the daily uh, missions that you've cleared <laughs> in total. So yeah, alright, so let's move on to the actual event itself and we're gonna take a look at what you actually need to know to handle this event and of course later on we'll move into the pro tips and all that kind of suggestions from me to you um, from my experience of playing this event for over one plus years of time across anyway guys if you guys have no idea what this event is about or you have some idea because you have been playing the game since launch until now and you can roughly grasp um, you know your understanding of this current event uh, good for you but of course this video is not just for new players it is of course for veteran players as well maybe because you have been playing this game blindly and uh, where well, you didn't really have a guide until now or uh, maybe you're a brand new player to Uta Macross because you decided to pick up the game um, because you just recently found out about Macross and you loved the series so much that you decided to uh, dive your soul into anything Macross like myself alright so let's take a look at the help corner first we're going to go through all this because this is basically all the rules you need to know and mechanics you need to know about this current event that is all in Japanese so I'm just going to use this as a guide through um, so that you have some kind of vision explanation of what's going on so of course this is the event page uh, of course the song title and of course the costumes involved with the event and of course within the event as usual you can get rewards that you can get episode plates from this event that unlocks costume points for a certain costume um, you can get resources for evolving your episode plates you can get singing stones for your gacha pools you can get your in-game currency for you know, powering up episode plates, um, getting items from the Chaos Exchange, so on and so forth. And of course, the brand new items that you have implemented in version 3.00, which are the fragments for the Rare Up Star, Secret Stones, um, Lux Stones, so on and so forth. You can obtain them through the rewards of the events itself. And of course, they now implemented a brand new set of um, you know episode plates because well they have better total score as you can see in the past the free episode plates that come with the events don't usually go that high in terms of total score usually they are around the 2800 to 3002 that's the the highest that we've seen so far and of course now they are breaking the limits but of course with such power comes um well such difficulties in terms of using the episode plates because well the episode plates now require you to use them in a particular song to activate their life skills if you guys don't know what i'm talking about please go and check out the episode plate uh, uh description for the red boss events those are the episode plates that are similar to this kind of episode plates that we're currently getting through these events since um the last event which is the um the Koji event, we that was the first implementation of such episode plates being uh, introduced into um, the current lineup of events going on in Ulta and Macross. Okay, so this current page that we're looking at basically tells you, um, you know, the kind of uh, opponents and scores you know you can expect to beat. You know, so the number below the song itself. Um, well, it's basically your opponent's estimated score. Then, of course, you want to pay close attention to the ranking of your opponent, which is A shown here. And, of course, you have to take note of the episode plate and their levels as well, plus their luck value. So, you can give yourself an estimation of how much effort you need um, to uh, go against this opponent and hopefully to beat their high score so you can obtain the best points you can get for your um, your rewards and of course maybe if you're going up against an EX uh, opponent which is going to affect your ranking score 
you will definitely need to have a better setup of episode plates to beat them uh, in case um, you're trying to aim for a top ranking in this current event. Alright, so let's move on. Alright, so this is the, I would say, your ranking, your EX battle gauge uh, ranking and of course your ES battle gauge um, point system as well so you have B, B rivals, A rivals and S rivals this will all come into play later on um, of course you know the points that these rankings will get uh, mainly based off your personal ranking um, you know because of your high score achievements in the past if you're brand new to the event you probably will start off at the lowest ranking and of course you work your way up as you will gain more powerful episode plays through the gachas and of course um, through long-term play as well all right so this one we'll explain a bit more later on because this this image isn't exactly fully clear unless i explain each part by part um, what they are all about so all right let's move on and this is actually what we are talking about uh, just a few moments ago about your personal ranking you know and how they will affect the outcome of your opponent's score because they're going to duplicate that um, score amount with this point system and of course um, you know at the same time you are going to receive the certain amount of um, points you know, at the end of de defeating them, um, based off your class gauge as well or your class level. Yeah, all right. So let's move on. Then of course the usual stuff. How you read the sidebar, your EX battle score, which is the top one, which is your accumulated high score from each of the event songs within the EX battle. Uh, opponent so let's say for example you did pretty well against an EX battle opponent for a particular song that high score will be merged together with the rest of the other two songs to give you this EX battle high score so I will show you an example later on um, then followed by the EX battle uh, ranking so your high score is the one that is affecting your ranking so that's pretty much the main thing that you need to focus on unless you're like me you're just a, a casual gamer you don't really bother about all this high score ranking because your plates your episode plates suck <laughs> and your luck is just horrendous just like me um so you just go for casual play and you just the go for the third row number which is the most important personally to me because these are the points that you require to unlock the rewards from the current event itself all right so um with all that said let me explain the rest of the stuff later on okay so how do you read the high score um page at the end of each battle well basically this is pretty much it so your score plus your class Remember, um, then of course each class have certain amount of points so that points will change accordingly to your class as you can see here the example is class 1 so that class 1 will give you 2000 points if you win if you fail definitely the 2000 points disappear so therefore your total score will be plus 2000 then of course it will give you this EX battle score then of course your current record for your EX battle score on this particular event song so like i said your ex battle score here is a uh, addition of all the ex battle scores among all the three event songs so that's pretty much how you calculate um, your ex battle score then which will then affect your ex battle ranking so yeah that's pretty much it i don't have to explain further about ex battle score and ex battle ranking Alright, so let's move on to the next panel, which is basically your EX Battle Challenge. Um, uh, once again, we have faced such um, interesting status effects um, like the second event of the month, which is the Kuji event, where you will have um, probably like special effects being uh, cast upon you, like um, you'll receive more damage if you break your notes and you miss your notes, that kind of stuff. So for EX High Score Challenge, well, they will affect your stats so you might want to adjust your uh, episode plates accordingly to how these stats are played so the current event basically has your charm um, decreased by 30% down and of course your soul is boosted by 30% up which means that all the songs from this event um, 
you probably want to focus boosting up your soul because well that's what is being boosted and of course your charm is decreased probably um you know because i don't know maybe because the charm is the main stat and if you want to boost up your charm but 30 percent is a very big drop so maybe you might want to try focusing boosting on soul and voice instead you know because sometimes the songs require all these various stats to give you that high score instead of the one that is being decreased all right so let's move on and of course they're talking about the missions which i have already explained at the beginning of the video so that's the end of all the pictorial help from the help section of this event so as you can see i am currently here with a full ex gauge Alright, so I'm going to explain to you guys what the EX gauge is all about and what is this number here beside the EX gauge. Um, so, in order to battle an EX opponent, as you can see, they are labeled as EX rivals. And of course, you can scroll through the songs showing which songs are EX rivals. So, usually when you enter into EX rival mode with the 100% or 100, 100 out of 100 EX gauge, you will see the first three songs as EX Rival songs and of course the ones following behind them are just your standard rivals you can still play against them but I wouldn't recommend you to do so because by playing against them you are going to lose out on um, charging up the next row of uh, gauge for your EX battle because you're just going to end up using energy and then you're going to waste them away um, you know because you got you are capable of earning gauge from playing all these normal songs against these rivals uh and the amount of points that you can get for your rewards is best gotten through ex rivals uh, if you beat them especially definitely you will have um more score added to your points total and of course you can claim all these wonderful rewards that they have granted um, within this event itself as you can see um, that's quite a lot of event uh, rewards as compared to last time if you compare to my older e tutorial videos for the other events you'll notice that they did not go up to this many in terms of rewards and episode plates so with the new implementation of these brand new episode plates that um, have the specific song limitations for the live effects um yeah they've given more copies of these episode plates so um it is possible to get another plus 20 luck um episode plate from these current events that is if you really rank like top 100 in that kind of stuff um then you'll get the plus 20 on that particular episode plate itself but like i said to do so you will probably be a whaler because the amount of high score that these whalers are currently getting is around 6 million in score <laughs> and that is per song <laughs> so you're going against people who are capable of 18 million uh, in total score <laughs> so I really really want to suggest you guys to back down against these whalers do the best that you can as you can see I'm not doing my best in terms of high score I'm only like 4,000 placing and if you if you guys want to see let me just go back if you guys want to see what kind of rewards they have for those kind of placing um, you can just check them out as you can see I'm around 4,000 so this is probably what I'm getting so um it is not the best rewards because well i don't even get episode plates from these um but to be honest uh, i do i do sorry i do get episode plates but not that many as compared to the higher rankings but the episode plates are actually not the important part especially if you have already unlocked the costume that is um that this episode plates run costume points for so you can tell this current one gives the costume points for Rankas swimsuit uh if you already unlock the costume there's really no point for you to push further for these episode plates because um you can actually get a plus 20 luck episode plate from the second event of the month which is the kuji event it is way easier to gain a plus 20 episode plate um from there rather than from this event um the main items that you actually want to achieve getting is actually the luck stones from this event which is only um, attainable through this event for free 
unless you're doing exchange with the uh, Chaos Exchange, you can get these Lux Stones from uh, Chaos Exchange with the sh the shards or the fragments that of these particular items, which are still very hard to come by. So guys, do your best to try and at least get into ranking where these Lux Stones are present, especially the large ones. So top 5,000 placing is the best you you want to attain for the most minimum in terms of effort. Alright, so that's that's pretty much covered the uh, rewards within the event itself. Let's move on to um, how you can benefit yourself when it comes to um, battling the EX rivals and all that stuff. So I'm going to fight an EX rival. And I'm just going to show you an average of um, my high score. It is not the best. I, I might miss because I'm pretty exhausted. Um, I have been working for the whole day and then I've been coming home um, doing this video plus before this video there was another tutorial video I'm sure if you guys have watched that one you will know which one I'm talking about so anyway guys I am on the class 23 EX rival level and I'm going to fight them with extreme uh, Ninjin loves you yeah alright so this is my episode plate setup I'm going to introduce you how to do episode plate setup for this current event it is pretty simple um, just if you have if you have not played Ninjin Loves You yet before, um, most of us veterinarian players have probably gotten our divas um, song level for this song up to level five at least or even level three, uh, which is the minimum requirement uh, that you should be doing for every event. You know, getting all your divas to level three song level for that brand new song or for that any song that actually appears within the event itself so if you guys don't know what i'm talking about go in and of course tap the um, pink button here you can see the the song levels for each of the songs of course for each generation as well so my cross frontier is the one that we're going to look for and minmei is now level six song level for ninjin loves you yeah so that's pretty much what you need to attain so get all your divas to song level level three um the minimum if you are a new player, if you are an old player, aim for level 7 because the max level for a song level now is level 7. So yeah guys, so I have a preset here um, for yellow songs only. Actually, we do have pink and blue songs within this current event. So I'm just going to explain with you this setup because um, you can adjust your own team setup accordingly to the color as well. But you just have to adjust it with episode plates that give you that bonus um, just like any of the other events out there so since it's a high score event I have an episode plate here um, that boost high score so active skill is the 100% boost in high score for 10 seconds so this is definitely my best episode plate when it comes to high score achieving which is not the best because well the total score is rather low and it's a very old episode plate that's why in my previous video i was mentioning that i would love to evolve a brand new tier level of high score achieving center episode plate for this yellow element or star element whichever you want to call it by um, but sadly you know because i'm I, I'm a person who teaches you guys things I have to give up on certain things and move along just to show you guys what this game is all about anyway so after you have put the uh, episode plate for the high score achieving skill then after that the lazy man way is basically to have your center retain and of course go for total and of course the ele element that you wish to have and press ok so the episode plates will be sorted accordingly um, to your best total score then of course you can see that from the bar below this is how you can gauge what kind of total score you might get at the end of the entire play if you perfect full combo or you full combo you know that kind of stuff of course if you want to get the best stats or rather best bonus points at the end of it you might want to take a look at uh, pay close attention to the episode plates that actually give you the 5% bonus of course slotting in more means you will get definitely more bonus points or more percentage boost but um, having too many isn't exactly a good thing as well so since I have one here this is an actually a uh, old um, event episode plate that has recently been given the opportunity of getting a plus 20 because it was 
um, within the Kuji event there is reissue um, so that's pretty fantastic so we're gonna go with an episode plate um, we're gonna change at least one more actually is um, it's actually not required because if you really want to beat your opponents and you're playing at a, um, a EX level or rather a uh, rank level that is slightly a bit more difficult than what you can cope I would highly recommend you to keep your D.Va team set up um, to the best high score capabilities as possible and of course forego the episode bonus if you can um, but since my setup at its best currently on auto is like this with a 5% boost I probably might want to retain it as it is the extra 5% might not do you any good if you keep losing eventually so um, yeah sometimes losing that 5% boost uh, in terms of bonus points uh, might be a better thing as compared to continuously losing and then having that plus 10 plus 20 whichever uh, episode bonus that you have arranged your episode play uh, accordingly you know because you just won more points but you know having the best total score is actually the way to go for this current event so let me show you why by playing this event song against this EX rival and I'll just do a breakdown on um, what you need to pay attention to at the end of the scoreboard so here we go guys all right so there we go i fumbled i didn't do as well as i normally would because i'm playing the game without music um as usual when i'm playing a song during a recording um the entire audio is muted because the audio is being recorded by the computer and so i had to play the game blindly as you can tell i i missed four notes in total <laughs> um but that's okay um, I probably didn't be defeat my opponent because probably their score is better than mine but sometimes um, you know the opponent might be using an entire luck based team setup or maybe their plates aren't as good as mine and then eventually because of my boost in skills and all that kind of stuff it, it lets me overtake them eventually but I have a feeling that I probably might have lost to this opponent so let's see Oh, I actually beat my opponent, so here we go. Um, pretty good example, even though during the gameplay it showed that Makina was a uh, Makina or rather my rival was ahead of me because their their um, character blinked um, during the play itself showing that their their current high score is actually much better than mine. Um, but yay, good enough. I managed to defeat them, so that's pretty fantastic. So of course you want to pick play. Pay a close attention to the stats being shown here like my total score in my episode plates are way higher than my opponents by right I'm supposed to beat them um, normally but if you look at my excellent score which is only 7 as compared to theirs is 40 that is scary because the excellent um, is the one that can turn things around greatly if you guys don't know how you can actually gain excellent score these are the points that are gotten by tapping on notes perfectly and of course if your plates have luck on them um, there is a certain percentage boost in terms of the note tap being an excellent which is going to grant you way more score than you normally would now, of course the combo is of course the one that is affecting your um, your score as you can tell my opponent has no combo because well, this fella probably used the skip ticket to play against their EX rival, so <laughs> that's probably one of the reasons why um, I did better because I had that combo rating even though I, I break. So, as we have known through the skip ticket tutorial, high score is not affected by the skip ticket, so um, probably this person might have been lazy to fight their opponent and they just used a skip ticket, and that's one of the reasons why they lost. So, guys. When it comes to fighting against your opponents in EX rival battles, please, goodness gracious me, do not use the skip ticket. Uh, even though the event does allow you to use a certain amount of skip tickets. So let's take a look at this breakdown before we go and check out how many skip tickets you can actually use within this event itself. Um, so yeah, alright, so like I said, I was in class 23. 
So winning that class will grant me 13,000 points. And of course, my score. Like I said, one of the reasons why you would want to give up that episode plate bonus is because if your general total score is not as high, the points you will gain at the end, which is the first three digits of your high score, will not be um, that high. So uh, generally, having a good total score setup is actually better than having a ton load of episode plate bonuses at the end. Of course, your the difficulty um, that you clear will affect your grand total as well. As you can tell, extreme gives you 200% up. And of course, very hard, hard, normal and easy will give you a definitely lower percentage boost in terms of your final bonus points. So as you can see, I've gotten quite a lot of points for 41,520 added to my current total stats. Uh, of course, the current ranking placing I have in the reward rankings or you know this this ranking actually is pretty meaningless in this current event because it's just a personal ranking um, and you don't really gain anything out of it the main the main ranking you really want to pay attention to is this one which is the EX battle score ranking because these are the ones that will be granting you those extra bonus rewards at the end of the event so alright guys, that's pretty much how you break down the scoring system at the end of each song live that you play. Um, so And that would definitely give you an idea on generally how you want to set up your team in terms of episode plates. Do you want more bonus plates um, that will give you that 5% boost at the end of the score? Well, sometimes you might. Um, so let me explain roughly why you will consider having more episode plates with that plus 5% bonus um, because you know um, maybe the opponents on the standard level songs that you are fighting not the EX rivals these opponents will probably have a lower high score as compared to the opponents in the EX rival um, lineup so having those extra bonus points um, even though the total score of your episode plates might generally drop uh, by a bit not really a great amount so let me just show you what i mean um, by showing you this team setup that i have generally um, set up in initially so here we go so you can compare um, the current setup i have 66469 as compared to the one that I have presetted, it's only dropped by, well, um, 3,000 points. Uh, generally, if you round it up or round it down, depends. And of course, you know, the the bonus boost is of course lower because of the, the total plate setup in terms of total score. So, even though this setup will give you more bonus points at the end of the live, if you beat the opponent, if you beat the opponent, the main thing is the if portion. Um, that is just a gamble. So, yeah, I'm gonna pull this out because I am going to show you um, how you can fully utilize um, the the rival rankings and of course charging up that ex gauge. So in order to get to the EX rival, like I mentioned earlier, you have to get a hundred out of hundred uh, EX gauge bar, uh, which you saw just now previously. So, how do you obtain them? Well, the higher the uh, opponent's ranking, of course, the more gauge points you will get. So, how do you tell what amount of points will you get from each ranking? As you can see here at the top, if you win, you get plus forty gauge. Now, of course, if you lose, you gain plus twenty gauge. And of course, if you go to A, you get 30, then 15 if you lose, B, 20, and 10 if you lose. So of course, definitely, you will want to fight against an S rival because you gain the mo most amount of EX uh, gauge points. At the same time, the rival's difficulty will of course boost the amount of bonus points you will have at the end of the battle if you win. So. It's a win-win situation if you win. Like again, I cannot emphasize how badly it is to win against these rivals. Now, if you lose, you can purposely choose to lose against these rivals. So I'm going to show you how I would purposely lose to a rival because I just need that plus 20 points. Now, if you win against two 
as rivals, you will definitely gain 80 gauge. So 80 out of 100, you are only short of 20. So you, that is the chance that you can purposely lose to a rival um, just for that plus 20 points against an S rival. Alright, so you don't really have to play the hardest song possible. So you don't have to play extreme. That's why you can see out of all the difficulties I have on my songs, I only play easy and extreme. So that will probably give you a hint of what I have been doing throughout this event itself. So I'm going to the S rival because at S rival ranking, if you lose, you gain plus 20. So I'm going to go to easy because I'm going to lose anyway. So since I'm going to lose anyway, I might as well make use of this time to gain resources. So I'm going to go with a full team of luck to gain those rare resources from the events. And of course, there is a chance that you will pull the three star episode plates of the current event. Um, which you will probably want to obtain because you want the costume points for the um, costume that is being affected by these episode plates in the event itself. So it's a win-win situation. You might as well gain something out of it. So play smart guys. Um, if you just need plus 20 gauge, go with a full luck setup. And of course, oops, I forgot. I should be using the luck, uh, the skip ticket to actually do this because, you know, why would I want to waste time playing an easy song? Um, so I guess I probably will have to fast forward this portion here or this video because I forgot to use the skip ticket. Oh well. Alright, so there we go. I purposely just lost. Apparently I did a new record on easy. Okay, so that's pretty interesting. Of course, using the least amount of energy and of course, obtaining a buttload of resources, but sadly to say, this is not the best result of resources that I could probably get. Um, it would be definitely better to have a higher grade of, you know, the yellow element itself because they are so precious. Um, and yeah, of course, I'm going to lose to my opponent, which is what I wanted. Um, and of course, getting that 20 gauge points. And of course, you will gain the minimal amount of uh, points for your scoring. Uh, but that's fine. It's okay. The main thing is the resources plus that 20 gauge uh, while using the least amount of energy uh, possible. And of course, by doing so, since it is close to the red boss event, you will have probably noticed that there is that notification at the top of the play button that says it is possible to obtain a radar from playing this live. So this is more of a pro tip now uh, because, well, Using the least amount of energy and of course doing the most amount of plays to gain radars at the same time benefiting yourself by getting the EX gauge points at the same time getting those resources for your episode plates it is a triple win with one play but of course the chances of getting a radar is very very slim hence why you need to continuously play this event uh, when the team selection for the Red Boss event begins. So you can relax um, throughout this entire event for the first half, but once it goes into the Red Boss selection, that's when you really start to grind this event. Play, 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 play continuously if you want to rank top 100 in the Red Boss event. So if you guys have watched my live stream or my Facebook page before talking about how to handle the Red Boss event if you want to rank top 100, you will probably get the gist of what I mean um, from what I just said. If you guys have no idea what it means, please wait for my upcoming tutorial video where I talk about how you want to rank top 100 or higher for the Red Boss event at the end of the month. Um, but sadly to say, that video will probably come out by the end of that Red Boss event because, well, I need to do uh, uh, video examples um, during the event itself to show you guys um, what I mean fully truth. Uh, you know through visual effects and all that kind of stuff because it is a lot easier to explain to you guys with something to see all right so with that said that's pretty much how you can gauge um or rather how you can gain gauge for your ex gauge uh, i don't know how many times i've said gauge throughout this tutorial video but yes so gauge yourself well and of course make sure you choose 
the uh, ranking that you are most suited by um, I'm going to sacrifice my 20 EX gauge here just for you guys to see what I mean by that you can tap the blue button here all right and you can choose your battle class okay which is the number that you can see here uh, of course the the lower the class the easier the opponents are because their total high score definitely will be way lower well of course you can push yourself higher if you want to get the best ex battle high score if you can beat um, opponents on a different battle class that is higher than the ones they are most comfortable playing with you will definitely rank way higher than what i'm currently having all right so what are the buttons here for well basically if you turn this off do you remember the but the icons where you show the character faces of your divas like um my opponent when i was playing the live was makina and her her icon lit it up well if you turn this off basically it doesn't show you who's in the lead so it doesn't give you that kind of stress so for players who like to focus you might want to consider turning it off but for me i like to play strategically so sometimes when i see that my opponent is in the lead i tend to be a bit more focused instead of being distracted by it um, so it does help me in a way to gauge myself whether i need to be more accurate in my taps that kind of stuff so it's really up to you guys it's all personal personal preference um then of course the high score button you can see my current high score you can tell my yellow episode plates are horrendous that's why i'm only within a 2 million range of high score instead of the 3 million that i should be getting <laughs> because well my episode plates under the yellow element or star element are pretty horrendous even though i have a buttload of them um so yeah i'm gonna sacrifice my 20 ex gauge points like i said i'm gonna just show you guys how you can reselect your battle gauge class or your battle class um which will reset your ex gauge bar it's basically this warning before you press okay so they are just telling you that once you reset it your ex gauge that you've currently gained obtained will be all wasted away so yeah just take note of that so okay i'm gonna reset my ex gauge i'm gonna show you what are the current battle class that is currently available to me so take note the battle classes that you have conquered um i have up to class 28 okay so from class 1 to class 27 i have all these icons as a medal um, that i can equip to my profile card to show people that what the uh, standard of uh, my episode plates are you know that kind of stuff and what kind of general average high score i can usually get um so you, if you want to flaunt your high score because you're a whale yes you can go ahead and put maybe a gauge 35 36 38 i don't know i have no idea what the whalers are having right now in terms of their battle class but yeah considering that they can obtain 6 million high score on a normal song I would think they are around 40 to 50. <laughs> so anyway guys, um, so choose the class that you are most comfortable with. If you have tried playing against an opponent within the normal songs um, and and you happen to just shove, uh, fall short off of their high score maybe by a bit, even, even though it's not even an EX battle boss, um, you might want to consider changing your battle class to a lower one because you are definitely going to be facing a more powerful opponent during the EX battles and your plates are definitely not capable of beating them because you're, you're, currently, you're currently being outclassed by your opponents so therefore it is better for you to step back a bit and reconsider a, 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 a strategy that is more suited towards your level at the same time you do not put stress on yourself by continuously going up against these opponents that you can never win and of course you're losing out on clearing your missions getting the best high scores you can possibly get getting the the points that you require to unlock the rewards from the event itself you might want to step back like i said in your battle class and make things a lot easier for yourself please be humble um, with yourself you know be kind to yourself do not put stress on yourself because Utah macross is a very grindy game i would not highly recommend you to um overwork yourself when it comes to playing musical games that require a lot of focus unlike those auto style battle games out there this game is definitely something you will have to um, watch out on your mental state um 
when it comes to fighting your opponent. So I can I can actually try going for class 24, which is what I'm gonna do in, in from after this video onwards because I definitely can see myself beating the EX uh, EX bo uh, bosses or rivals within this class itself and maybe probably can push myself slightly higher on the EX battle ranking. Alright, so that's pretty much it when it comes to this entire event other than the missions that you probably want to try and clear the toughest one is probably getting the full combo on extreme if you are not a person who can play very difficult songs um, of course go for whichever difficulty that you can um, full combo at a comfortable pace of course if you are challenging yourself you might want to try and reach to new heights go ahead and try and pursue a difficulty that you probably want to um, accomplish in the future because you do not want to retain at a certain level of gameplay or throughout the entire time uh, but that mm, make sure you just have fun with the game do not put too much stress on yourself like i said of course the other thing you want to pay close attention to is the rewards you can get make sure you clear all of them because in the past there was just a minimum requirement of certain score that you can attain then of course you gain all the rare rewards but this time around dana had noticed our strategy uh, limiting ourselves to play the minimum <laughs> of course um we will stop playing after that so now they have become smart they have decided to add a tire load of rare resources that you can actually gain from the rewards and of course they're forcing you to play all the way through um so it's probably what i'm gonna do <laughs> in the last 22 hours of the event um yeah and at the same time i'm gonna attain as many radars as i can for the upcoming raid boss event so let me see let me recall if i have missed out on anything so far i think that's pretty much it um I've covered like the Divas song grades that you want to um, have a minimum level of level 3. Make sure all your Divas are um, song, song level level 3 for any of the songs within the event itself. Especially if the song has never appeared before or a permanent song in the event. Sorry, permanent song within the uh, song list in Uta Macross currently. Um, because in the future that song level is going to help you break through another song's level uh, restrictions so that's one of the reasons why we i never really update um on utam across song restrictions because it is a general thing that you need to do in every event make sure all your divas are at song level three minimum um before you decide to um maybe push forward um on getting the most amount of points or stop playing the event entirely because I think that's what you really generally want just get the most minimum fun out of it without sacrificing the rest of your uh, time within the day or the week or the month you know because you have more important things to do than Uta Macross all right so aside from all of this I think I am done um just play smart play wisely do not overstress yourself um because music games are meant to be enjoyed listen to your favorite songs have fun tapping the notes that are accurately mapped out for you uta macross is generally one of the best music games out there that has the best mapping to their songs um and yeah it, with the idols dancing for you in the background if you have your 3d graphics on instead of me like me i'm playing on 2d only because well it's easier to focus on the notes uh, rather than being distracted by your favorite girls dancing in the background that kind of stuff anyway guys um i think before i leave this tutorial here um make sure you play smart when it comes to getting your ex gauges at the same time pay close attention to your vops your Valkyrie operations because your the the diva Valkyrie operations are affected by how many times you play songs. Sometimes they don't appear, sometimes they appear, and they appear a lot, you know. And of course the 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 duration of clear for the VOPs that are high level are very long, six seven hours. Um, you might want to pay close attention to the amount of Valkyrie teams that you have available while clearing the daily Valkyrie operations alongside to your valkyrie operations that you obtain from playing songs pay close attention to that um, if you do so 
you should be able to clear things generally um, smoothly uh, especially for those who don't pay for Utamaku Pass you may not get the item that is the Reina Skull that is used to help you clear one hour away from Valkyrie operations that kind of stuff um, you know if you are a grinder like me you definitely need those items to help you clear VOPs to gain all the um, Kiawawa dolls the resources from there that kind of stuff anyway these are pretty much more advanced pro tips already for clearing this event and generally in any of the events um, so pay close attention to all this enjoy the game like as always let me know what are your thoughts about this current event down below in the comment section uh, talk to me tell me guys what you guys think that I missed out even the, the, the whole tutorial video I know it's about an hour long but you know I have to be thorough I have to make sure you guys are able to understand this event and play the game with the most amount of fun and understanding you know so that you guys don't have to crack your brain so hard and probably don't have to ask me <laughs> countless times what does this do what does this do you know um my videos are here for you guys um new players old players alike refresh yourself with the memory uh refresh refresh yourself with the understanding of the events if you are veteran players for new players um understand the game understand the event understand the concept of certain things here and there and of course play the way you want to with all these understanding make yourself comfortable enjoy utah macross enjoy macross as a series and i'll see you guys in the next utah macross tutorial video until then bye